CSI Celebrity Style Inspiration. Hi, CSIers. We're back to bring you the Manila Times Celebrity Style and Inspiration. The Manila Times Entertainment and Lifestyle pages come to life across the paper's digital platforms. I am your host, Tessa Mauricio Ariola, and I speak for everyone on the team when I say that we've all really missed doing CSI. Forced to stop shooting our episodes during the strict quarantines, we took the time to make sure that our daily pages are up and running through the lockdowns while also figuring out how to strengthen the Manila Times online content amid this new normal. Now that we've got our footing, we would like to thank all of you for viewing our past episodes on our Facebook and YouTube pages, and we're ready now to give you more. This is CSI's second season, episode 7, and we're getting started right now. CSI, Celebrity Style Inspiration. First off, let's take a look at this week's winners and downers. Baguia Beauty, Roxanne Bayan started the week as a big winner when she won the crown from Miss Earth Philippines last Sunday. Her chosen advocacy is urban gardening and is dedicated to inspiring people to add more plants to their homes and business areas. Roxanne won many other special awards, including Best COVID Craze Outfit, besides the title itself. Miss Earth Philippines is the first pageant to hold its contest virtually with the candidates all in their homes. Besides online, GMA Network also broadcasted the pageant live on TV. There are rumors circulating online that the much challenged ABS-CBN company has given their artists and employees permission to work for other networks as Congress continues to grill them on their franchise renewal. This is truly a major downer. There are talks that management held an emergency online meeting early this week to inform their artists and employees that they are allowed to do so after July 30. The tapings of their teleseries had just resumed after GCQ following new safety protocols. But if and when they can air them on free TV is still uncertain. Just as quickly, talks that the network's top stars Piolo Pascual, Jericho Rosales, and Bea Alonso were offered a teleserie on TV5, but all were said to be fake news. We will just have to wait and see what moves our favorite Capamilia stars will take in the coming days and weeks. Over in Hollywood, Beyonce is definitely a winner when honored with the BET Humanitarian Award for her efforts during the COVID-19 pandemic. She dedicated her award to the Black Lives Matter movement and urged her supporters to vote to end a racist and unequal system. Ending this segment with another winner is the comeback of superstar K-pop group Blackpink. After a year-long hiatus, the famous girl group broke YouTube records for the largest premiere in history with their music video for How You Like That. Fans will definitely see more of them from here on. And that's it for Winners and Downers this week. We'll be right back with our certified CSI reports. And we're back on CSI and we're starting our certified CSI reports. Beginning with Christina Alpad. Hi, Tina Pai. Hi, Misty. How are you? Great po. Great and looking lovely in red. And uh, what do you have for us this week? Misty, this week we have not one but two celebrities, Mikael Daez and Megan Yang, who are certified couple goals. Sounds interesting, Tina Pai. Give us the details. Despite the pandemic and work stoppage, Mikael and Megan are staying busy with their vlog and podcast. Add to that, Megan is now slaying video games via streaming. And her number one supporter in this new challenge, Mikael, of course. Let's watch this. The CEO mentioned earlier na kasama sa mga adjustments is yung paghahanap ng new sources yes. of income. Um, kasama ba dun yung podcast and blogging? And kung meron pa bang ibang businesses na na-perform or in the, uh, in the plans? 
I'll talk about your game stream, though. Oh, yeah. So I have uh, a gaming stream on Facebook, which I started last year, last February. And I really started it as a hobby. Something na pwede ko gawin kapag wala akong taping. Or para lang ma-share ko yung gaming experience ko with other people. Because I use it as a decompressor, as a stress reliever. And... You know, I enjoy watching other people stream their games. So, sabi ko, why not ako din? Share ko rin yung experience ko sa kanila. And, yun, it just really just started as a fun thing. And eventually, it evolved into a way for me to earn money. So, now I earn money from the stream, which is amazing. Who would have thought na something as a hobby, like somebody started as a hobby, could actually turn into a job. So, I didn't really think that this could be possible, but... I'm very thankful because Mikael was actually one of the people that really pushed me to do it mm-hmm. because I was very hesitant at first dahil iniisip ko iniisip ko agad dami dami pa niyang iniisip oh, oh, arte iniisip. arte mo mga guys <laughs> iniisip ko kasi na ba ako ano sabihin nila like baka sabihin nila puro lang ako games and I was just really thinking of the negative at that time because there are a lot of negative connotations that come with gaming but Mikael just told me, you know what, have fun. It's something that you've always enjoyed doing since you were a kid. And I think a lot of people can connect with you on that level. They'll see a different side of you na hindi pa nakikita. And why not show that side of you? Because why should you be afraid to show your personality? And FYI, napakadaming gamers pala dito sa Pinas. At ito pa, ako yung mas... Hardcore gamer sa totoo lang sa aming dalawa. Pero dahil pinupush ni Megan na gamer siya, siyempre sinusuportan ko yung mga post ko, super gamer siya. Biglang nakarinig na ako, uy, mas gamer pala si Megan kay Mikael. Tapos naiinis ako, <laughs> ako yung nagpush nito ah! Ganun! <laughs> so, talagang, there are times I'm like reading articles and reading tweets of people. Grabe, tingnan mo si Mikael Megan. Si Megan yung mas mahilig sa video games. And I'm like... Hindi lang nila alam <laughs> Ilan yung gadgets niya pa ang pag-games niya. Yeah. Pero syempre, trying to be a good husband, sa'yo na ang lahat. <laughs> And we're back. Thank you for staying with us. You're still watching CSI. And I'm here right now with Isa Iglesias for her certified CSI report. Hi, Isa Pai! Hi, Misty! Hi, CSIers! How are you doing? Mabuti naman po, Miss Tessa. Kayo po. Kamusta kayo during quarantine? At tayo ay red. That put the yes. red vibrant ang report mo sa atin for today. So, what yes. do you have for me, Isa? Miss T, my CSI report for this week ay Certified Dynamic. Give us the details. Ay-ay Dalasalas continues to display her signature entertaining spirit even in these challenging times and vows to bring more fun and laughter after signing with GMA Artist Center. In the Zoom interview with the Manila Times CSI, the 55-year-old shares what she is currently busy with and her dream project now that she is currently celebrating her 30th year in show business. Watch this. Hi, Ms. Tsai. I'm Iza Hi, po from Iza. Manila Times. Hi. Hello, Iza. Hello po. Kamusta po kayo during quarantine ngayon? Mabuti naman, Iza. Ito. Ikaw, how are you? Mabuti naman po. Ah, nabalitaan namin, nakikita namin sa Instagram na medyo busy kayo sa business nyo. So, ano ba yung inspiration behind nung pag-start nyo ng business na Ubi Pandasal, tama po? Oo, uh, kasi yung asawa ko mahilig sa ube. Gusto niya mag-ube pandesal. Eh, malayo yung gusto niya bilan. So, sabi niya ako na lang ang gumawa. Mm. Although, nung una, hindi naman din kagandahan yung ube pandesal ko. Happy 30th anniversary din po. Yes. Uh, thank you. So, sa entire career niyo po, uh, na-experience niyo na yung good side and the bad side. Bad side. Show, guys. Yes. Pero, ano po ba yung um, parang na, pa, paano po kayo na-inspire to continue on? I'm so thankful na may mga kumukuha pa rin sa akin at saka syempre thankful pa rin ako na ngayon ay meron another contract na naman ako sa GMA mm-hmm. and as GMA artist. Marami pang blessing sila sa akin and yun ang isa. Pangalawa, 
syempre, ako pa rin ang breadwinner sa family namin. Natural, kailangan ko magtrabaho and keep on going. And sa totoo lang, ito lang naman talaga yung trabaho alam ko na nag excel ako. Pero, meron pa po ba kayong gustong ma-achieve pa? As Ano? Uh, hindi pa ako naging madre at saka wala. Gusto ko bago ako mag-retire, makasama ko si Ate V sa movie. Ate V? So, uh, meron po ba kayong idea na project na pwede nyo magawin to build? Uh, wala pa. Pero parang maganda yung ano, uh, Devil Wears Prada, mga ganung datingan. Oo. Oh, pang social. Pang social. <laughs> If you feel you've watched everything you can, whether on TV, cable, or online, CSI is here to help with our all-new segment, CSI Watchlist. To bring you the must-sees week after week is none other than the Manila Times entertainment columnist, Karen Punawicz. Hi everyone, it's Karen. The last time we saw each other was for The Witcher launch in December of last year. And now it's July and there have been no theatrical releases out. However, there's new material coming out on our streaming platforms. So I decided to watch Eurovision Song Contest, The Story of Fire Saga. Um, it was a bit hard to get in the mood for a comedy because, uh, you know, the news is really depressing. There's, uh, you know, a lot of anxiety when I wake up. So I figured, okay, I'm going to try this comedy. And um, you know what? Uh, it wasn't too much of a hard sell with regarding to the laughs. Um, I did like it. Eurovision is a song contest in Europe which started in 1956 and it is known for really campy, gimmicky performances. Um, lots of costumes, power ballads, pop songs. Um, and Will Ferrell is a huge, huge fan of this. So he makes this movie with Rachel McAdams. They play two friends. Um, called named Lars and Secret, and it starts in 1974. They are watching the Eurovision Song Contest with ABBA performing Waterloo, and they are so enthralled by the performance, they start dancing. Um, everyone else is making fun of them, including Lars's dad, Eric, who is played by Pierce Brosnan. Pierce Brosnan, of course, um, as Eric, doesn't really uh, look too favorably on his son's passion for music. And nevertheless, like Lars and Sigrid do become musicians as they grow up. And their one dream is to make it to the Eurovision contest. So this is what this film is all about. Um, Rachel McAdams and Will Ferrell are great, but there are some things that really stood out for me um, apart from the two leads in the cast. And that would be Dan Stevens, who we know from Downton Abbey, and we know him from Legion, Beauty and the Beast, and this horror film called Apostle. It was so strange. Saw it on Netflix. Um, you might want to watch it. Anyway, he was just letting it rip as a, as a comedian, and he plays this Russian singer named Alexander Lemtov. And there's also a party at Lemtov's, at one of Lemtov's houses, and um, that party features previous contestants. Uh, from Eurovision and they're all doing a medley and it's pretty fun. They do this thing called a song along. Um, there's uh, there's also some part including elves, which I'll probably leave you leave you to discover for yourselves. But yeah, it's 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 quite light. It's easy viewing. Um, I felt it was very easy to like, and I guess it does remind you of you know some things that are really important in life, which is uh, good friends, music, and um, Possibly if you grew up in a small town, maybe that small town where you grew up in is important. So yes, Eurovision is out now on Netflix. And uh, yeah, in case you're interested, Hamilton, uh, you know, you, um, for all the people who couldn't get tickets or couldn't fly or couldn't make it, you can finally watch it. A Disney Plus version is out. So have a good week and I'll see you soon. Midway 
through the quarantines, social media found their newest darlings in the country's first ever attempt at the boy love or BL craze that is taking over the region. For those who are a bit behind on the trend, BL is a popular genre in Asia, mostly in Thailand and Japan, telling a romantic tale of two male leads. And with Pinoy talent simply being what it is, Idea First's web series Game Boys became an instant hit, not just in the Philippines nor Southeast Asia, but through Europe and the Americas. With close to 800,000 views and counting so far for its highest recorded following for an episode, these Game Boys, Cairo and Gavril, have truly achieved YouTube stardom. So today, I'm very excited to introduce to you the te on the T-Zone two young and very talented indie actors who beautifully crossed over to online entertainment. Please welcome Elijah Canlas and Cocoy De Santos. Yay, hi po. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there. Actually, um, just to let you know, we're so grateful to have you on the show. We, Shampro, when everybody took a break when the quarantines began, we also took a break on our online show. And actually, kayo yung pagbabalik namin. Kaya we're very, very yes. happy. Thank anyway, you for having us. Po. <laughs> thank you also. So, um, my question first, no, um, for both of you, Elijah and um, sorry, Elijah and Kokoy. Um, gamers, ba talaga kayo in real life? No. Jello, uh, ikaw. Ako hindi ako gamer talaga in real life. I'm more of a film buff. I like watching movies. I'm usually on Netflix lang or yeah. I watch or wherever, just watching anything. So I'm not really much of a gamer. Unless kung NBA 2K, that's the only game I play. How about you, Coco? Are you a gamer? Before, no bata ako. Pero ngayon, hindi talaga. Hindi na ako, ano eh, hardcore. <laughs> hindi na, hindi na ako nagalaro. Yeah, but in the show, what is the game that you guys play? Ano yung game that you met each other in? Diba? That's how the show, the, yeah. the whole story began. Uh -oh. Ano yung game na nilalaro niyo? I think it's not exactly any kind of game, but it's based on or influenced by Mobile Legends or Dota. Mobile Legends. That's the type of game that okay. we're making yeah. the show. So, um, how did it happen? No? So, let's go back a little bit, siguro, before um, this, uh, these quarantines began. When did you get the offer from Idea First to do Game Boys? Paano siya nag start? Go, Koy. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, nasa bahay lang naman tayo lahat kasi na-quarantine niya. At uh, tumawag yung, yung hunter po namin na meron daw pong gagawin na online series itong Idea First Company po. At uh, syempre, yung in-offer pa lang po sa akin, eh, sobrang katuwa na kasi hindi naman po nga lahat tayo eh, nagbibigyan po ng uh, ganitong chance, yung opportunity na mag magkaroon pa rin ng trabaho kahit na may ganitong mga pangyayari sa akin. Tapos, yung sinabi na yung yung, uh, yung script, yung story, ah, lalo na yung role, eh, game na. Game na tayo. Game, na. game boys na. Oo. When you were offered that story and you know that it's, um you know, I mean, it's a very, very modern story. Uh, and uh, just last June nga, when you um uh, premiered May and then June, di ba? Uh, we were celebrating Pride Month. So it was really, really very timely, no? So do, how does it work? You are sent a script and then um, and then you decide on the day that you shoot or do you rehearse also um, before before it's recorded? Uh, so, paano nangyayari? The whole shooting in lockdown. Parang ano po talaga ito eh. Nag-shoot din talaga ng uh, normal na. <laughs> Kaya naman nasa kanya-kanya kami bahay kasi nandito nakatutok po yung director namin. Meron kaming uh, production designer, nandito yung producer namin. Kung baga, kada, uh, may, may dalawang phone na nakatutok sa amin sa shoot. Yung isa, nandun na nanonood sila direct habang nag-take. Tapos, pag nag na, isi-send namin sa kanila. Ipipreview nila kapag ka-okay na at uh, pwede nang mag-proceed sa susunod like sa inyo. Eh, parang normal na shooting ng video talaga. Hindi ito yung parang nag-shoot ka ng, ano, ng vlog mo na kapag ka-okay na ako, okay na din ito pala direct. Kung like, baga, dumadaan sa proseso pa rin. Can you tell us more about your characters and um, how can, do you relate to them? Meron ba kayong any similarities? Let's start with um, Elijah, of course. You're playing the part of... Ikaw yung, ikaw yung kinocourt, di ba? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I, <laughs> Cairo, in the, in the show, um, Cairo is a game gamer who 
live streams his games. Tapos liligawan siya ni Gabriel, who's played by Coco right there. And uh, yun. Ang hinihirapan ako whenever people ask me like similarities between me and Cairo. Kasi um, uh, as a straight male, ako usually yung nanliligaw. Uh, hindi ako, yeah. never ko pa na-experience na ako yung niligawan. And uh, usually I'm more reserved. Mas, mas shy ako compared to Cairo na mas aggressive and mas sungit talaga. It's just so fun to play. Pero... I guess yung similarity namin na sagot ko dyan always ay milig kami mag-assume. Milig kami mag-assume. Me and Cairo. Milig kami mag-assume. Whatever it is. If people like us, if people don't. Or kung ano mo. What's that? Sorry? On anything. Assume yes. anything. Assume anything, anything talaga. Oh. Pareho kami in that aspect. How about... Thank you. How about you, Pokoy? Um... Yung role mo, it's Gavriel, right? Is that how you, pre- diba? Yung name pa lang, yung very yeah. unique Gavriel. na. Gavriel. Gavriel, okay. And then, you also have yes, a handle. Gavriel. Uh-huh. Angel. Parang ang handle mo, it's Angel. Is that right? 2000. Yeah. yeah. 2000. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, Angel oh. 2000. Yeah. So, what are your char- what's your character like um, in the... In, in in Game Boys and how does how do you relate well, to it? Well, uh, ako nga, uh, ang ginagampanan ko si Gabriel, si Angel 2000, uh, isa to sa mga, tingin ko, napamahal na ako na character kasi ito yung isa rin sa pinaka malapit sa pagiging ako. I mean, sa wow. Pocoy din kasi may, oh, pero hindi naman ako ganito ka-agresibo, katulad ni talaga, <laughs> talaga lang, talaga lang. Gabriel. <laughs> Ka lang. <laughs> uh, kasi mahilig din akong bumana. I mean, mahilig ako mag pick up lines, ganyan. Yeah. Lalo na kapag uh, nagpapakita ko sa sa patch ko, ganyan. At uh, ano pa ba? Pero, ano kasi, <laughs> uh, funny siguro, na-assume ko na funny nung sabi ng mga kaibigan ko, yung mga mahal ko rin sa buhay. At, yeah. ayun. Kaya, happy rin ako at Na-enjoy din akong gambanan siya kasi kahit pa paano eh. Minsan, ginagamitan ko ng kokoy. I mean, pinapasa ko yung ako mismo sa character kahit para baka makatulong na. But uh, what have you learned from the show so far? Madami. Um, first first of all, natunan ko na it's no joke to be like um, a set man or an art director like being in a film crew. It's no joke kasi... Now we're just doing it by ourselves, be guided by our bosses on uh, Zoom. But we're doing it by ourselves with the help of my family, siempre. It's no joke. It's really hard. And uh, uh, one thing I realized is that I'm so happy that the show is successful, which means that the world we're living in right now is more open to this type of stories. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm so proud and uh, it's amazing, really. Yeah. For you, um, um, Kokoy, what, what have you learned from this entire experience? And of course, it, it's continuing, no? Marami pa tayong aabangan. But what have you picked up from this? Um, Thank you. Uh, uh, yun din eh. Ang masasabi ko, yung pag, ano po, pag set up talaga ng sarili. At uh, sa tulong din ng pamilya. Med- medyo na, minsan nakaka-prospect din talaga kapag uh, uh, ikaw mismo, alam, alam mo naman yung gusto nila pero hindi mo magpakita. Then, I mean, hindi mo maayos yun. Ang gulo lahat. Ilaw kasi ko consider mo lahat eh. Uh, Pati yeah, ilaw na no? oh, oh, Visually okay. lahat. Ilaw. The uh, framing. Uh, angles. Background. Sa sin lahat. The net. Uh, As you continue to do this, no? Does it still, you know, because of course, um, you know, but I'm sure you're having fun. I mean, you're tired probably sometimes, but you're having fun and it's really going great. But do the thoughts of, you uh, we're still under lockdown or quarantine pa rin tayo. How does it affect you guys? Yeah, b- uh, but big thanks to Game Boys kasi nga na nagiging busy kami despite this lockdown. Now everybody has this opportunity to have work and be busy despite everything else. Pero it's hard not to think about being locked down, especially when you're shooting something and you're just alone. I mean, with your families, without the crew, without the director in person. It's so different. Plus, with everything that's happening in our country, it's it's hard not to to take notice of what of your situation right now. So, with that, um, you know, do you have any message 
to your fans. We just want to thank everybody who's been watching and supporting every episode of Game Boys. We've been tweeting and sharing our show. And uh, it's our honor to, to give you entertainment and make you happy despite the chaos that's happening in the world right now. That's why we owe it all to you guys. Thank you. And marami marami salamat po sa lahat po talaga ng sumusuporta at tumututok sa Game Boys. At uh, sa mga nag effort po na mag-share at mga gumagawa pa ng iba yung mga fan art. Pasensya na po kung hindi minsan namin na uh, hindi kami nakakapag- uh, Kumbaga, hindi kami nakapag-like, nakapag-comment. Pero nakikita po namin ito. Sobrang na-appreciate po na. Maraming maraming sila. Thank you guys for joining us. And we would like to congratulate you uh, from the Manila Times uh, for, for you know, um, having such a unique, no, innovative program. No, I, you know, and I hope that sana lahat in showbiz makahanap din ang way like you guys, no, to be able to work already and then you know at least make a difference and touch people's lives continue to touch people's lives so thank you so much bye 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 thank bye bro. thank you and that's it for the t-zone on csi many thanks to elijah and kokoy for joining us on the show and maraming salamat also to peachy gyogyo and her team at media exchange and of course the true to life bl story directors percy intalan and june robles lana for making our interview with the game boys possible stand by for csi exchange Okay, CSIers, and now we've come to my favorite part of the program, CSI Exchange, where I get to bring back all the girls, starting with Christina, Isa, and of course, our youngest member and our head writer, the very, very energetic, Nika Roque. Hi, Nika! Hi, po. Kumusta? Love energy, Nika! <laughs> energy mo through the screen. Grabe. <laughs> How do you feel Good. na ito na ang head writer natin ngayon for CSI? Um, nakatuwa po. Um, it's such an honor, Nax. Pero oh. it, happy po talaga ako. Na... And thank you also because <laughs> ka talaga, she really does the research for everything for us. And um, it's a big, big deal na um, mabilis siya mag bigay ng lahat ng kailangan natin. So, thank you very much, Nika. And dapat kasi sa CSI Exchange. Okay. <laughs> so, question ko for you girls is, mm -hmm. okay, my question, because I have so many screens here. Okay. Here we go. My question for you girls today is, do you think this will be the new norm whether doing shows and fulfilling our jobs as jeristas for a long time? And how do you feel about all this Zooming? Let's start off with Tina. I uh, think pa. Baka siguro at the earliest next year pa tayo makabalik dun sa ating um, old ways. And... Uh, I personally feel na nakakalungkot, nakakamiss yung dating ways natin. Pero at the same time, very productive pa rin naman po tayo. And with online press conferences and meetings, mas madami tayong nagagawa today in a day. So yun po yung ano ta, advantage. It's in traffic, di ba? There's, you know, yes po. with traffic anymore. Oh, Isa pa. Ay, wala nang late. Mm -hmm. Ako po, Misty, I agree na this will be our new normal in the coming months to come pa kasi medyo challenging man yung mga adjustments na ginagawa natin sa ganitong situation. We still have to comply pa rin kasi nga dahil sa safety and health pa rin naman natin yun eh. Until siguro wala nang positive cases dito sa Philippines or magkaroon na ng vaccine for this virus, Saka lang siguro tayo magkakaroon ng parang makakampante tayo na bumalik na dun sa old ways nga or sa old normal na kinasanayan natin. Pero I think even after this pandemic, marami na din talagang magbabago. Like how we treat our health, yung sanitation natin. Siyempre, ayaw na natin maulit yung mga ganitong pangyayari kasi siyempre maraming naapektuhan dito. That's true, diba? And and um, you know, uh, unfortunately, since we opened, you know, we went under GCQ. Um, 
you know, the number of cases have risen, no? Parang medyo dumoble doble yata in the recent okay. days. Um, it's still, you know, at least we have this this medium, diba? this platform where we can all still exchange our ideas and bring this show to them uh, while keeping safe at home. Safe at home pa rin po ang importante. Nika Pai, what's your take on all this Zooming? Um, personally po, medyo nasusad ako kasi um, nakasanayan ko na din in a way yung pagka-busy ng industry like sa events and meeting new people pati dun sa yung life sa office and parang hanggang ngayon po ang hirap pa rin i-accept na biglang nag-slow down and lahat ng communication talagang online na lang kasi it's not the same po. Namimiss, dami ko pong namimiss. That's true. Ako din, uh, first of all, namimiss ko kayo girls because, you know, really we haven't seen each other since the start of the quarantines, no? Uh, we've really just um, communicated via Viber and then ngayon nga because there's CSI, Zoom, Zoom naman kami. But um, I really pray that, uh, you know, every night I pray for the yung mga scientists na makakahanap na talaga sila ng vaccine, di ba? And I pray for this to be all over. And, you know, I mean, I know things, there are things that will never go back to the way it was. Pero at least man lang yung makapagsama-sama tayo, di ba? Mga magkatrabaho, with their families, um, with their friends. Uh, I really pray uh, that we'll be able to do that very soon. So, and patience lang ba girls and prayers? Anong advice nyo? to our CSIers. Isa pa. Ako po siguro maging safe lang palagi lalo na pag lumalabas ganun. And um sana matuto na tayo maging appreciative of what we have ngayon kasi hindi lahat ng tao have the same blessings that we have right now. Yung iba nagsa-struggle pa rin sa paghanap ng bagong work dahil may mga natanggal. Yung iba na hihirapan makahanap ng pagkain nila sa araw-araw. Pero tayo naman na kaya naman natin ma-survive yung pang-araw-araw natin. Maging appreciative tayo and kailangan natin i-count lagi yung blessings natin every day. Nika Pai, how about you? Um, ako po, yung sa mga people who are staying at home, sana po you take this time na to parang to still make good things or to like still be kind on kahit online na lang or uh, make sure na your relationships are good and na parang when para when we get out of this when this is all over maging masaya pa rin and kahit na new normal na na lahat ng tao takot pa rin will will still be okay Tina Pai how about you Ah, uh, for me po, sana po kung kaya stay at home pa rin. And pero kung kailangan po talaga nating lumabas, maging cautious pa rin po tayo. Nandiyan pa rin po yung virus. Wala pa rin po tayong vaccine. So, doon lang po tayo sa super important na gawain po sa labas. Avoid po sana muna natin yung mga socializing kasi po, hindi po hindi pa masyadong safe. And sana at this time magkaroon din. Kung mayroon po, kung kaya po, makapag-share din po tayo ng lesson sa mga nangailangan natin sa babae. Thank you, girls. And um, yes, just a lot of prayer, a lot of patience, and a lot of good. No, I We hope that's what is coming out of this quarantines. And uh, in no time, hopefully, you know, we'll all be back together and we'll be doing CSI from the studio at the office. Diba, girls? So uh, that's it for now for CSI Exchange. We'll be right back. So that's it for this episode of the Manila Times CSI Celebrity Style and Inspiration. Thank you very much to Tina, Isa, Nika, Shello, and Neil for helping us bring CSI to you from each of our homes. See you next Thursday, CSIers. Bye! channel for more episodes of the Manila Times CSI. See you!